Yo, what's up guys? Retrospective Dave checking in. Welcome to another segment of Guided Laces. And today's episode features the Air Jordan 1 and the Tokyo colorway. For those of you who are unfamiliar, this sneaker was originally released in 2001 exclusively to Japan and limited to only 2001 pairs that came in a silver briefcase. 19 years later, the Tokyo Jordan 1 is back in similar fashion. And though it saw a wider release this time around, the sneaker sold out instantly. So for those of you who are unable to buy the sneaker at retail and you decide to buy it from a secondary market, this video serves as a guide to authenticity. In no way am I an expert when it comes to authenticating sneakers, but I will do my best to go over every detail of this shoe to assist you in authenticating your sneakers. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get into the shoe. Before I get into the details of the shoe, um, if you're wondering where the shoes came from, these were ordered from the sneakers app. I placed the order on August 7th, I believe, and I didn't get them until August 19th. Nike doesn't usually take that long to ship, but I guess because of the pandemic, Delivery time can be a lot longer. So yeah, that's where I got the shoes from and let's get into the box. So aside from the obvious difference, which is the color of this box compared to the standard Air Jordan 1 box that you get, that's red and black. Um, this one does have different textures on it. So the outside gray um, is pretty much the same as the black on the Air Jordan 1 box that you usually get. But on the Nike branding is a different feel. So when you take your hand and rub it across, this part of the box is smooth, but then as you get into the Nike branding, then you start to get like a little bit of resistance. And doesn't, your finger doesn't go smoothly across this. There's some parts that will stop your finger from smoothly going across like how it is up here. Um, so just keep that in mind. Also, there is a little bit of, you should be able to see some reflection in this Nike branding. So if I take the shoe, you can see here, that's the shoe moving. Um, it's not clear as day, it's not like a mirror, but you should be able to see a little bit of reflection. All right, when you open up the box, the only thing that you will see is a quality control sticker. Underneath the box lid, you have your quality control stamp here. There's nothing else on the inside of the box or underneath the box lid. Um, so let's get into the sneaker paper. All right, here's a detailed look at the shoe paper. So the paper itself feels uniform throughout meaning that it doesn't have different textures. It doesn't feel different on one side than the other. As far as the artwork here, the 2001 Jumpman 2020, um, you can see the detail in the artwork, but it doesn't feel any different from the rest of the paper. Um, it does give off a nice metallic look in certain lighting. Um, so uh, you can see it a little bit here, but it doesn't feel any different from the rest of the paper. So just keep that in mind as well. All right, so here's a look at the box label. We're gonna start with the barcode number. So your barcode number should be the same as mine, except for the 528 uh, that's there. So everything should be the same except 528, unless you wear a size 12. If you wear a size 12, then your number should be the same all the way across. But anybody that wears a size 13, 14, anything other than the 12, your numbers, uh, the 528 on my barcode will be different on your barcode. All right, folks, here's a look at the rest of the box label. So the color code is neutral gray, uh, metallic silver. This is a United States shoe. So if you live in Canada or you live in Australia, somewhere else, you will have different currency here. But the rest of the box label is debossed. Um, so you will feel texture here on the box label. It's not a flat label. Um, so the sizing and all of the text here, you will feel that it's kind of debossed into the box label itself. So just keep that in mind. And last but not least, you do have a black Nike sticker on the back of the box. Um, this is not a part of the box. It is a separate sticker. And that's the only thing that's underneath the box. All right, folks, the moment you all have been waiting for, here's the Air Jordan 1 Tokyo. If you turn it to the back, it's gonna look at the shape real quick. The shape has that hourglass shape. It goes wide at the top, thin in the middle, and then it gets fat at the bottom. Um, around the sock liner, it has like this U shape to it. Um, it does have that rock to it that's on the right shoe. When you compare it to the left shoe, the left doesn't really rock as much as this one. See the difference there? So that right shoe definitely has a very defined rock to it. The other one, not so much. Also, I want you to take a look at these panels here. So the swoosh and this panel up here have more of a metallic look than this bottom half here. Um, this bottom half is more of a matte finish. It's the same color gray, but this has more of a matte finish than this part and the Nike swoosh. And even on the toe box is a little bit more of a matte finish. So this piece matches the toe box. 
and the swoosh and the top part up here match each other. So these two more metallic, the back piece and the toe box is more of a matte finish. And it's like that on the left shoe as well. It's in the same lighting, but it looks more metallic up here than it does down here. So matte finish on the bottom, your swoosh up here, that's metallic. Uh, the toe box matte finish. You can also see the difference here. Even though the materials look a little different, it's more tumbled down here than it is up here, it's still a big difference I can see in the finish. All right, so this is my favorite part of the shoe. I love the Jewel Wings logo here. I thought that was a nice touch. The only thing that I wanted to point out here is that the Jewel part actually protrudes out a little bit, not much, but just a tad bit. So it's not sitting inside of the stitched area is actually coming out a little bit. It's protruding out a little bit on the outline. Um, I could probably bring it a little bit closer so you can see what I'm talking about. Like, especially in this area here, you can see that it's coming out of the stitching a bit. So it's almost kind of like it's 3D-ish, but not much. Um, so yeah, that's what the Wings logo looks like. All right, here's a look at the tag that's on the back of the tongue. Um, there's two things that I want to point out. Uh, one of them is that the red Jumpman is actually outlined in black as well. You should be able to see it with the naked eye because I can see it in person. Um, even though I'm using a macro lens, you can still see it without this lens. So like up here in this section where the ball is and where his arm is, you can see another black portion that's kind of like outlined. And the whole Jumpman is pretty much outlined in black. It's just very subtle. All right, the other part of the tab um, that's on the back of the tongue where the 2001 and 2020 part is, behind that tag is supposed to be red. I don't know if the whole thing is red, but I know that on the sides, when you pull this tab and peel it back just a little bit, it is red on the back side. All right, since I haven't seen a fake pair of these yet, I don't know what the tag looks like on the fake ones in terms of the, the font and everything else. Uh, but the production dates on mine are March 4th through April 27th. I believe it's the same on the other shoe. Yeah, it's the same on the other shoe as well. So it's just something to look at just for you to compare at home. Here's a quick look at the inside of the shoe where the insole was removed. Um, mine was semi glued down a bit. So um, if yours are glued down, please don't, please be careful not to rip anything. But yeah, this is what the insole or the inside of the shoe looks like. The threading is taped down. You have some holes here. Um, on the brown area the brown area doesn't it looks like cardboard but it it feels like foam some type of foam so it's kind of similar to the insole um, speaking of insole this is what the insole looks like so it has it's blue it has the lines um, pretty much that foam feel kind of similar to the brown that's on the inside of the shoe but it's not as smooth so the, this part this insole is not as smooth as the brown part on the inside of the shoe uh, when you flip the insoles over you have your Jumpman and you have CEO Japan the artwork is a little bit debossed into the insole but it's not deep enough to the point where it can't come off so if you're wearing this shoe a lot uh, you could potentially rub this artwork off so if you want to preserve this definitely put some type of uh, tape over it so that you can preserve this but yeah this is what the insole looks like and that's it all right and last but not least um, I didn't touch on this earlier because it's really nothing to say about the oval laces other than uh, they don't have anything on the lace tips so if you were wondering about that like if there was any special artwork or lettering on the lace tips there's nothing on the lace tips it's pretty much plain Jane and these do not come with extra laces. All right, folks, and that would do it for today's episode of Guided Laces on the Air Jordan 1 Tokyo. Uh, this shoe is really nice in person. To me, it's better in person than it is photographed. Um, so if this is a shoe that you're interested in or on the fence about, I highly recommend that you buy it because the prices, uh, to my knowledge, are reasonable right now. Um, I mean, $250 is, not, is a lot for a shoe anyway, but $250 to $300 as of right now is much better than $450, $500 later on in the future. So if this is something that you want, definitely get it now. If you have any questions after watching this video, if you still are on the fence about certain things about your pairs, please feel free to reach out to me on the comment section or on my Instagram at retrospectivedave.
Until then, stay fresh, blessed, and free of stress, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace.